Graves' disease is an immune system disorder that results in the overproduction of thyroid hormones or hypothyroidism. Thyroid hormones are released as part of the hypothalamic pituitary thyroid axis. The hypothalamus detects a low plasma concentration of thyroid hormone and releases thyrotropin releasing hormone or TRH into the hypophyseal portal system. TRH binds to receptors found on tyrothropic cells of the anterior pituitary gland, causing them to release thyroid stimulating hormone, TSH, into the systemic circulation. TSH binds to TCH receptors on the basolateral membrane of thyroid follicular cells and induces the synthesis and release of thyroid hormones T3 and T4. Once released from the thyroid gland, these hormones enter the blood and bind to circulating plasma proteins. Only a small amount of T3 and T4 will travel unbound in the blood and these two hormones get picked up by nearly every cell in the body. Once inside the cell, T4 is mostly converted into T3 and it can exert its effect. T3 speeds up the basal metabolic rate. So, as an example, they might produce more proteins and burn up more energy in the form of sugars and fats. T3 increases cardiac output, stimulates bone resorption, thinning out the bones and activates the sympathetic nervous system, the part of the nervous system responsible for our fight-or-flight response. Now, Graves' disease is an autoimmune disorder characterized by the production of autoantibodies against multiple thyroid proteins. The most common antibody subtype, known as thyroid-stimulating immunoglobulin, or TSI, is observed in approximately 90% of patients with Graves' disease. TSI binds to the TSH receptor and mimics its actions, increasing the release of thyroid hormones, which results in hypothyroidism. Clinical presentation of Graves' disease can include hyperactivity, irritability, insomnia, tachycardia, sweating, fatigue and weight loss, despite an increase in appetite because of the higher basal metabolic rate. Now, thyroid-stimulating immunoglobulins target and activate the TSH receptor, causing goiter, which is the term used to describe an enlarged thyroid because of the hypertrophy and hyperplasia of the gland. The buildup of glycosaminoglycans causes local inflammation and swelling around the eyes, called Graves' ophthalmopathy. The ophthalmopathy causes exophthalmus, or outward bulging of the eyeball. Laboratory findings in Graves' disease include elevated free T4 and T3 levels and depressed TSH levels. Because of ongoing stimulation of the thyroid follicles, by thyroid-stimulating immunoglobulins, radioiodine scans show a diffusely increased uptake of iodine. As mentioned, hypothyroidism speeds up many physiological functions. Beta blockers can be used for symptomatic relief of tachycardia and anxiety. In cases of thyroid hormone hypersecretion, the treatment goal is to reduce the amount of circulating thyroid hormone, both Methimazole and propylthiorisol decrease thyroid hormone synthesis and propylthiorisol also reduces peripheral T4 to T3 conversion. In most cases, more definitive treatment is preferable to long-term treatment with antithyroid drugs. The thyroid can be removed surgically or destroyed by radioactive iodine. Either of these treatments can lead to hypothyroidism. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.